Hey everyone, your random geek here doing a guest video on the Tech Rebel channel. And this video is to congratulate Tech Rebel on crossing 10,000 subscribers. So this video is all about some new features that we saw in iOS 9 and that you may not know of. In case you're using an iOS 9 capable device and you do not have iOS 9, here's how you can get it. All you need to do is go into the setting tab scroll down till you see the general and within general go to software update as you can see i am already on the latest os and i do not need to update further having the same icons and flat theme as ios 8 ios 9 looks the same but here's where the difference comes in spotlight has made its way back to the left of the home screen also giving suggestions for siri talking of siri siri has a new theme like the apple watch now which i personally like a lot and now it just may be me, but I feel Siri is much faster than before and it understands whatever I'm saying much more accurately. And that is despite me having an Indian accent. Siri can do a lot more now. You can tell it to launch an app, like in this case I'm launching the App Store. Now my net is slow as I've recently shifted, bear with that. But another thing you can do is tell it to launch maybe say an album from some time ago or maybe search for photos from 22nd August. And yep, that's my birthday. Joke side up next is a notes app which now has a scribble option. So basically you can choose your weapon of mass destruction from the bottom of the screen which may be a pencil, a highlighter, a marker or even a ruler. And then well, doodle away. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is available on the iPad as well. Another change is the app switcher. Now I personally do not like it much as it does not have a very clear view and there is still no option to kill all the apps but well it's there and we have to mention it. Now replacing Passbook is Apple's new app The Wallet which can store all your passes and other tickets etc but well for Indians it's not much of a use as we do not have many companies still supporting this app. Apple finally answered to many prayers. There is now an option to press the shift button and see whether you're typing in upper or lower case. And many people, including me, really liked it. Under settings, one may now notice the new battery option. Now this allows you to have a new option called the low power mode, which reduces your brightness, turns off some background features and lets you have a bit more juice to like just pull through the day. And you can also see which app uses how much battery. And that is something Android had for a long time and now iOS has it too. Next up, notifications are now categorized according to the date and time they were created, not the app itself. So guys, these were some of the many new features that iOS 9 has brought and well, these were the ones that stuck out to us. So if you liked this video, it would be great if you could leave it a like rating, subscribe to The Tech Rebel, also subscribe to my channel Your Random Geek which will be in the description below if you liked my content and a lot more content is coming up there too. Drop us a comment telling us what you feel of iOS 9. And once again, I'd like to congratulate Tech Rebel for crossing 10,000 subscribers. Way to go. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe to his channel and to mine. Hey wait, who put my iPad in that case?